Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 17 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about CMYK and RGB color in Illustrator. Unlike Photoshop, if you choose CMYK, uh, the option don't disappear in Illustrator, which makes it a perfect option for designing print um, um, in Illustrator. So what we can do is in order to get the CMYK option, just go to file and new. You really have to decide what you want to design on. Uh, so when I choose web, so it is actually for screen, you can see that in the advanced tab over here, it actually shows uh, RGB color mode. And in raster effects, it says 72 PPI, that stands for 72 pixels per inch, which is the standard screen pixel for screen. I can also change this to 300 PPI or 150 PPI. Uh, this does not really matter for screen, but for print, it is recommended that you keep high 300 PPI of screen pixels for better quality of print. So in color mode, you can see that now it changes to CMYK because CMYK does not really support bright colors. So when we print out, the colors are actually dark, so you don't see colors uh, like bright red or orange. And when you choose CMYK, it is going to simulate the same effect on the screen so that you get more of a real print-like color inside of screen. So uh, there's RGB, that's how the screen displays, that stands for red, green and blue. So that's how the screen makes, makes up the color. CMYK is uh, for cyan, magenta, yellow, and um, key color. That's the black color, which is used by printers. So you have to choose this before you start designing. So if you were to press CMYK and press OK, then what it actually does is it creates a CMYK version of the effect right there. So right now, this is the RGB. You can see that the RGB is here and the CMYK is here, just like that. So I'm going to just... Uh, drag this around. I'm just going to zoom this out so that you can see the difference between CMYK color and RGB color over here. So over here, this is the RGB right here and this one is the CMYK. Let me just drag this out. So I'm going to draw the same shape over here and apply the same gradient onto the both canvas. So I'm going to drag this onto the side just like this. All right, there you go. So you can see that I can actually drag out two canvas uh, over here. So this one is going to be um, uh, RGB and this is going to be CMYK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape, a circle shape over here and I'm, I'm going to apply a uh, gradient to this. So I'm going to apply a gradient and then in the gradient I'm going to choose red. So you can see that this is the red that you get. I'm going to copy and paste the same shape over here and you can see that the uh, red is actually different. In here, this is actually quite pinkish and over here is actually quite reddish. And I just copied and pasted the same shape over here. So this is how this color. So if you are to if you were to design the RGB, uh, if you were to design an RGB color and print it in CMYK, it actually would come up like this. And this is not what you want. So you want the real simulation to be there in screen. So it is very, very important that you actually choose the color. So this actually not just happens with red, this happens with a lot of other colors. So uh, right now I'm selecting red, so let me just select blue over there. So this is how it'll show up on print. And if I were to, let's say, copy and paste this in RGB color mode, you can see that there's a bit of difference in the color over there. So this might not be very prominent. Let me just choose a bright color so that you can see a very good difference. So I'm gonna select the ellipse tool and let me just select a very, very flat color for this. Let me choose a very, very bright um, green for this. So you can see that the green does not get too bright, but if I were to bring it into the RGB section, I can choose really bright colors over here uh, without any options. So let me just select uh, RGB over here. So let me just select a very, very bright color. Maybe I'm, I want to do a full green. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have green value to 255, so it's gonna be whole green, just like this. All right, so that's gonna be zero. So I can also use values, so red value will be zero, green value 255, that's the maximum value. This is a very bright green, as you can see. I'm gonna bring that into uh, CMYK and paste it, and you can see that this is not as bright. So you can see that there's a clear difference on both of these shapes, just like this. I just copied, paste the same, color over here but printers don't use it usually print this bright so it actually prints a bit darker and this actually simulates the actual print color which is very beneficial for print designers so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe 